Usually, a normal person always dreams of a fantasy world of his design, where his wishes will be fulfilled endlessly. There would be no pain and only happiness. To fulfill such dream, a person builds or buys so many things in life like houses, cars, gadgets, and pets, which he thinks might help him to create a fantasy world of his own for him and his family. But what if I told you that once there was a human who created a whole new universe? Yes. You heard me right, a whole new universe. It was the great sage Vishwamitra who managed to do it. But how was he able to accomplish such an unimaginable task and why did he do that in the first place? Today in this video, I'm going to tell you this marvelous story of sage Vishwamitra on how he did it. Hello everyone, welcome to Hindiverse. This is the channel where you can watch and listen the amazing mystic and mythic stories as well as a lot of facts on Hinduism and other religions as well. So. Please do subscribe to this channel if you want to keep knowing more entertaining facts on Hinduism. There was once a king named Satyavrat from Svaku dynasty. He was very self-assured that he will be able to go to the heaven with his physical body without dying on virtue of his good deeds throughout his life. After declaring his son Harishchandra the new king of his kingdom Ayodhya, he then went to sage Vasista. He then told sage Vasista. Oh Rishi Vasista, I want to go to heaven with my physical body without dying. Sage Vasista was shocked to hear this unnatural request from King Satyavrat. Sage Vasista then replied, Oh great king, I am unable to fulfill your request because it is against the law of nature. He further mentioned, No human being is allowed to enter heaven with his physical body and I won't go against this universal law. Disappointed, King Satyavrat then went to Sage Vishwamitra in the hopes that Sage Vishwamitra might help him to fulfill his wish. After meeting Sage Vishwamitra, he then requested the Sage to help him. At first, just like Sage Vashista, Sage Vishwamitra also mentioned that he was unable to deliver the request of the king. But to this, the king came up with an idea to take advantage of the fierce competition that was happening between Sage Vashista and Vishwamitra at that time. The king said, O oh, great says, I came to your asylum because I thought that you could grant me this wish which says Vashista could not. But it seems like I was wrong. To this, says Vashista replied, Wait, O oh king, you were right to come here because unlike says Vashista, I don't send away a request to empty handed. I promise that I will fulfill your wish. At first, with divine ascetic powers, Sage Vishwamitra tried to ascend the Satyavrat to the heaven to which the king of heaven, Lord Indra, obstructed the ascension of Satyavrat in the middle way saying, O oh great sage, how much you try, I am never going to allow this unlawful act. Due to this, Satyavrat got stuck in the middle way in the cosmic sky from where he could neither go up to heaven nor back down to earth. Enraged, Sage Vishwamitra challenged Lord Indra. If you don't allow Satyavrat to enter the heaven, then I will create not only a new heaven, but an entire universe for him, for him to rule over. And then Sage Vishwamitra started creating new universe with new planets, stars, galaxies, and of course a new heaven. But the new universe started to negatively impact the original universe. The planets and stars of old universe got strayed from their path and started to collide with new universe, causing massive destruction everywhere. This terrified Lord Indra and all other gods as well. Then Lord Indra immediately went to asylum of Sage Vishwamitra and pleaded him to stop his rituals immediately. Lord Indra said, O oh, great sage, your new universe is destroying our universe. And would it not be a disrespectful act against the creation of Lord Brahma? We all gods beg you, please stop this ritual. After hearing this, Sage Vishwamitra came back to his senses and realized how horrific thing he was going to do. But he also mentioned, Oh Indra, I can't undo my creation. And I also have promised Satyavrat the heaven which I must accomplish. Then Lord Indra begged Sage Vishwamitra to come up with a solution to this matter. Then Sage Vishwamitra told Lord Indra, Oh Indra, with the rest of my ascetic powers, I will place the new universe and heaven upside down to that of the current one, just like its shadow. Satyavrat will reside in that inverted heaven and will not interfere in your activities. After the ritual was completed, the new universe and heaven did not come in contact with each other, which eliminated the chances of planetary collisions. Satyavrat was forced to reside upside down in his heaven. 
says Vishwamitra lost all his ascetic powers in the process as well. Well, this is the story of unimaginable accomplishment of says Vishwamitra. In Hinduism, even humans can become as strong as gods or even stronger than gods like Indra with the help of ascetic powers. This is the reason why Lord Indra always feared for his throne and had always tried to interrupt the attainment of ascetic powers of humans. From this story, we can learn that interrupting the law of nature can disrupt the nature and can cause terrible harm or destruction. Obviously, I will be back with more wonderful Hindu stories in other upcoming videos. Till then, keep yourself tuned into this channel and did you like my content of today? Please let me know in the comment section below and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to keep enjoying these types of divine interesting tales of Hinduism. See you guys in the next video.